Hey, what's up? This is Dark, and welcome back to Dark Channel. This is Hayate, and to this video, I'm gonna going to show you guys how to navigate the OBS Studio on live streaming. This is for all gamers out there. So, that being said, let's go to the video. So first, you need to download this OBS. 2.08 and uh, once you download this in Google it looks like it's sharing gone and right so we on the uh, OBS studio now I'm actually using it now uh, recording this video and automatically adjust the settings of the audio as well here using with my mic and the desktop audio so we're gonna go to the settings this settings is actually uh, recommended for those guys um, that has a low-end PC like me with the uh, you know graphics card that is two or one gigabytes and like a GTX uh, 550 down. A 750 Ti will be um, you know recommended for the high specs that can be you know have a better um, video quality on the streaming but this is for you guys that has a mid-range PC uh, like me with the 550 uh, the Nvidia GTS 450 Nvidia GTS 550 or up um, this is recommended for you guys so we're gonna go ahead on to the settings and we have here seven tabs on the OBS so in general you don't need to touch anything here just leave it as a default it's actually recommended for you when you open up the uh, download this OBS so you don't touch anything at here go to the stream on stream uh, there is a service you can choose whatever channel you would like to so as this is for video on Facebook so we're gonna go in the Facebook live then you just leave it as default on the stream key you need to download it to the uh, you need to get this and copy the stream key on the Facebook live when you go on live streaming um, I do uh, I know that you do under, uh, know this already so we go to output video this is one of the important thing um, since that I'm recording this video now I don't have an option to uh, change or uh, navigate this on the output mode just copy what it is here just leave it advanced then since we using a low-end PC low quality video card we're gonna use this uh, times 264 encoder and always make sure the read control CVR 2500 so this is the recommended settings for the low end PC and just put it here very fast this option where will going to force your um, control or CPU to do um, process of um, reading the uh, beat rate learn you know like the frames video frames so just uh, you can pause the video you can just um, save this you can just copy of my settings and it will be more better then go to audio don't touch anything it's here a little bit what it is on the video it depends on the monitor and depends on the resolution that you have you just leave it what it is and here in advance uh, this is one of the important thing on the general you need to put here at ba bab normal right then and the rendering this is a video if you have a, a more uh, video card that is higher let's say 1080p uh, ti version or any just um choose the video card that you have rendering but if you have using a, a low-end pc low graphics card this uh, is good for you the direct 3d one one and uh, just copy this then hit on apply then okay now you're ready to go the last one is you need to go to duration so the duration I believe the default option here is 3000 or 2000 so make it 10,000 delay you know so that 
um, it will not be uh, too laggy and it will reduce as well the spikes when you on the streaming so that's it for this video and if you like this video just hit a thumbs up and subscribe and just comment below I'm gonna going to create more videos about this and thanks for watching guys goodbye